Sometimes we'll have an equation that appeared naturally in some other form, but we want to write it in a form where we have both variables on the same side of the equation. Fortunately, getting that form isn't too much trouble. I'm going to give you an example. Here's an equation that apparently we found in point-slope form, y minus 5 equals negative 3 fourths x plus 12. How would we get this in the form a number times x plus a number times y equals a third number? Well, really what we want to do is say, how is what we currently have different from what we want? What's the difference? We want the x and y terms on the left, the constant non-variable terms on the right, and we want the x term first. So we know what we want. Let's make it happen. Let's see. So my biggest problem here I have this 5 term on the left, I don't want that. And I have an x on the right, I don't want that either. I'm going to get rid of the x on the right first. To do that, well first I need to distribute. y minus 5 will just stay, and I'll have negative 3 fourths x plus negative 3 fourths times 12 is negative 9. Okay, now I want to get rid of this x term on the right. To do that, I'll add 3 fourths x to both sides. Notice, there are no x terms currently on the left-hand side. There's currently nothing for me to combine that 3 fourths x with. So I'll just have 3 fourths x plus y minus 5 equals negative 9. Okay, so now I have all the variable terms on the left. Now I want to get all of the constant terms on the right. That means getting rid of the negative 5. To do that, I'll just add 5 to both sides. Now I have 3 fourths x plus y equals negative 9 plus 5 is negative 4. Okay, now I have the constant term on the right. The way I've written it, the x term is already first. If it were second, I would just switch the order of the terms. Let me put in a 1 in front of the y. And now it's very clear that this equation is in this form. Right? My a is 3 fourths, my b is 1, and my c is negative 4. That's all there is to it. I want the x and y terms on the left. I want to get rid of any x and y terms on the right. I want the constant terms on the right. I want to get rid of any constant terms on the left. And I want the x term to come first. I will order the variable terms so the x term comes first. This is a pretty straightforward process. In the next video, we'll see what we need to do to an equation to get it in formally standard form, where the a, b, and c follow those rules. But most of the time, we're going to be happy with this sort of weak standard form. What we really want is just to have all the variables on the left, all the constants on the right.